What's up Stack Attackers, hope you're doing well. Today's video we're going to test a product that we just got in the mail, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. I want to welcome you to another edition of the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. As always, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're going to look at a product that I actually got in the mail. So let's see what we got here. I think we got everything out. All right, this is from Sound Money Metals up in Ferndale, Michigan. Okay, with, let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got a pocket pinger. Most of us know how to test our coins uh, to do a ping test. It's not the greatest in the world because uh, you could damage your coins. But the problem most of us have is balancing it on our finger and striking it with another coin. Um, it, you know, unless you've done it a million times, it can be difficult. So, of course, on the reverse side of this is use at your own risk. It's a, you know, it's a disclaimer. Uh, it's telling you basically to compare the sound of a known fake with uh, a real one if you're just starting out. So, and of course, be careful if you're testing valuable coins. You could actually damage your stuff. So let's take a look at the product itself. All right, got the name, Sound Money. Okay, and you can see where it's got the little grippers on like a caliper. And on the bottom, got the name, Pocket Pinger Coin Ping Test. All right, made in USA, so that's a plus. So how does this thing work? Well, just like you would bounce it on your finger, you put a coin in here, and there's a couple different ways you can ping it. So let's check, let's check a look here. Uh, so we're gonna use a Silver Eagle. All right, so we've loaded it up. You got two ways you can do this. You can flick it, and you hear that little ring, that little resonance. Or you can, uh, this is not the best thing to do, but if you want that real ping, and you can hear that ring. Unmistakable sound of silver. So, but you've also got to be careful when you're identifying fakes. And we got a nice one here. It looks like a proof. A nice little proof thing going on here. So we're going to test this one. And same thing. We're going to give it a little whack. Oh, we can flick it. <laughs> Doesn't sound too good off the bat, does it? Not even close. Okay. So basically what this has done is it's it's saved it from me balancing it on my finger and pinging on it. Uh, I inevitably drop them. So. Um, and if you didn't guess, this is a fake eagle. Okay. Now you can order the... They, they'll provide some fake copy coins uh, on the website. And I will have all that information in the description. Um, but you can, you can order uh, fake coins to test with. You can order the wooden stick, which I avoided. Uh, it was an extra three dollars just to get a wooden stick when you can use pretty much any blunt object or pick up a cheap little wooden dowel at Walmart for 50 cents but um, you know you've got options so that is how you use the coin tester or the pinger okay the little pocket pinger is what it's called so is this worth fifteen dollars which is what I paid for it um, well let's go over that let's see so obviously it, it helped you know hold the, the coin secure and we tested for it so we know that you know this was a fake silver eagle and this one sounded great so we know that one was real um, but is it worth it is it worth 15 bucks so let's let's kind of do a quick review um, functionality I'm gonna give it a five out of five stars because it's there it's got two ways you can test you can either flick it or you can strike it so I like the idea I like the functionality of it um, value I'm gonna give it a four out of five stars. It's not, you know, it's not gonna set you back a bunch, um, but you know, it's it, it's gonna cost you 15 bucks. And durability. So here's where my rub is. I'm not convinced that with you know constant pulling on this part here, that it's actually gonna be stable over a long period of time. Uh, I can see where this would wear out and just just become weak and uh, not do what it's supposed to do. I haven't had this long. I've only tested maybe 10 coin, less than 10 coins on it. And it's already, you can see it's already starting to stick up a little bit from being pushed down. So yeah, I'm not convinced on the durability. 
And if you look here, you can see where, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see where it's turning a little bit white from the stress of being pushed down. So unfortunately, I'm not convinced, while I do like the concept of this, I, I unfortunately am not convinced that this would last you long term uh, for the price you're paying. I, I think maybe you'll get a good 100 tests out of it and, you know, that might be the end of it. It might wear out. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. Um, overall, I would give it three out of five stars. Okay, It's another weapon for your testing arsenal to check and see if your coins are real. Um, but don't, you know, don't stray away from the ones, the time-tested ones like, you know, the water test, the ice cube. Uh, you weigh them, make sure they weigh what they're supposed to, measure them. Um, rare earth magnets. Those are all solid ways to test in addition to pinging your coins. So I love the concept of this. I really do. And I wanted to like it a little bit more than I did. Now, kudos to Sound Muddy Metals for coming up with the concept. I think it's great. Um... Maybe in the future, maybe some heavy-duty springs replace this part here that's going to wear out. I'm, I'm almost 100% that's going to wear out. Maybe in the future, maybe some replaceable springs, some uh, real heavy coils in there that we can buy, you know, replacement springs that'll hold them down. Um, because eventually, with this part wearing down here, it's not going to hold here, and you're, just, you're not going to get the resonance that you're looking for. Um, I, you can already see that it's, it's pointing up a little bit from use and of course that stress white showing in the seams over here oh and I've used it less than 10 times so does it work yes absolutely um, comes with replacement uh, tips uh, is it gonna damage your coin probably so you've got to be real careful with this it's uh, you know I wouldn't test any expensive coins on this one but for the you know purpose of getting that sound and we all love that silver sound for sure I mean that's one of the most beautiful sounds in the world so I love it but am I banging the hell out of this coin sure am so luckily this is one that I kind of use in videos and you know it's pretty much a throwaway silver eagle but it's bullion so I don't worry too much about it so there you have it um, you got your your pocket pinger coin ping tester okay maybe one more thing you can throw in your arsenal there um, to help you figure out what's fake and what's not now pretty you'll be able to if you're experienced you don't you probably don't need this um, you can drop a bunch of silver on top of each other and it'll make that distinctive sound and if you've been doing this a while you already know what silver sounds like but if maybe you're newer to the game and you're concerned about whether you're buying fakes or real stuff First of all, always buy from a legit dealer, but know in the back of your mind that even they can get fooled from time to time. So it's, it's always best, even if you're 100% confident with your, your local coin shop, you know, have the ability to test them. Uh, most of those guys are pretty cool about putting stuff on a Sigma for you if you're not 100% sure. So it's not a big deal. But I would recommend this for maybe beginners, um, more experienced stackers. Uh, you probably don't need this. It's, it's nice to have, but probably not a need to have so and again I'm not convinced of the uh, durability out of this one unfortunately I just feel like this is gonna wear out so a sound idea love the concept I think it was a great idea to come up with he's gonna you know they're gonna make some pretty decent money on these but uh, as far as recommending it it's three out of five stars for me um, I probably would not repeat by this I wouldn't buy this again unless they came out with a better system than just counting on this this part staying intact so maybe some heavy-duty springs uh, even if it's more expensive I, I would be down for that because let's face it the, the value in this is right here right there because I don't have to balance that stupid thing on my finger anymore okay and try to strike at it that's a pain I love that it does that for me boom I don't have to worry about it okay so I do like the concept on it I think the uh, mechanics are a little bit flawed on it. Um, maybe they could look down the road to do an improvement with a coil spring, really strong springs. Who knows? Who knows? But that's uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, I appreciate you checking in. And uh, as always, keep on stacking. Silver's dropped a little bit, but that's now's the time to buy the dip, right? Just more opportunity to keep on loading up. 
So thanks a bunch for stopping by, and we'll catch you next time on the Silver and Gold Stack Attack. Take care.